November 9th, 2022, Tom Dudley Conservation Commission meeting is now in session. Uh, members, state your name for the attendance record, please. Bob Tuttle. Rand Michalajic. George Swingle. Richard Andrew Levich. Thank you. Uh, first on the agenda is uh, a notice of intent for the town of Dudley. I'll pledge of allegiance. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot we got to do the Pledge of Allegiance first. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, first on the agenda is Fish Road. Uh, I'm going to recuse myself from the hearing here for this. Okay, uh, I'm going to issue, because of a lack of a quorum, I'm going to issue a continuance to our next meeting, which is November 30th. November 30th. Can you make that in the form of a motion, please? Uh, uh, I don't think we need a motion. We don't? Matt, we don't need a motion on that, do we? No, it's a simple rescheduling. Right, okay. okay. So, just reschedule it to uh, November 30th. <clears throat> okay. Okay, next on the agenda is uh, Flaxfield Road. This is a public hearing for a notice of intent for 72 Flaxfield Road for David Carlson. Uh, I will open a public hearing at 6.07 p.m. Good evening. Uh, Matt, uh, DEP just sent us some comments here today, and I know you probably haven't got them or had a chance to even look at them. Uh, so... Well, let me ask Dickie, which pond is this off of? This is Flaxfield Road, which is High Pond. Well, oh, would be Merino that, Pond. Okay. Merino Pond. So I'm looking at this, and if you could just bear with me here. Yep. I mean, I looked at the plan, I looked at the site. Let me look at their comments again. So their comment seems to be going towards dock. Towards what? It seems to be focused on the dock, based on what I'm saying. Okay. And what I'm seeing. Okay, so, okay. yeah, but is it a great pond? Well, let me, let me finish here. Yep. Um, in, looking, in looking at the documents, it looks like essentially they're asking if there's going to be any wetland that's going to be altered as a result on the edge of the pond. And the specifics on the dock, is it going to be, uh, you know, is it, is it going to be wind up being in place? How are they going to account for the impacts to land underwater? If, um, the chapter 91 aren't necessary because it's not in the great pond. Because it's not a great pond. That's exactly correct. That's correct. So it's not listed as an outstanding resource water. So horrible water quality. Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't apply. It, it wouldn't apply here. Am I correct? That's correct. Yes. So they filed a notice the notice of. The other thing would be okay, Mr. Carlson, what are you using for a dock? Uh, well, we haven't purchased one. Taking this one down? Yet. I mean, we're looking to clear the space so we can put in, um, you know, I had my idea, of, you know, a, a basic aluminum dock, that sort of thing. Mm hmm. Is there, is there anything existing there now, Mr. Carlson? There is an old wooden dock on a different part of the property. Okay. Um, the spot where we'd like to put one, we'd like to clear a better line of sight okay. from the house. Okay. Uh, so we could actually see the pond, and that's where we'd like to put the dock. Okay. So, okay. You out, so, so he is looking to clear a little bit of trees or something like that. Is the clearing going to be done by hand? No, that's a stately tree company out of uh, Connecticut. No, no, that's what I mean, but they're going to do it by hand. They're not going to, you, are you going to remove the stumps or any, you know, work to that nature on, on this? We haven't discussed removing stumps. 
Okay. Uh, they were just kind of come down Friday and, you know, just remove the, the trees. Trees, okay. At any point? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know about the equipment, you know, exactly how they go about it. Yeah, no, that's, that's, I'm, we're just concerned if there's going to be any digging going on. That's what we're concerned with. No, they're not going to be doing any digging. They're just clearing trees. Okay. Now, okay, Matt. So let me ask. Okay. The, um, really quick, the old dock, is it going to be the same dimension as the new dock? Um, probably not. The, I mean, the old wooden dock is very narrow. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's even like a, a standard type of dock. It's, you know, it's an old handmade one that's no more than three feet wide. <laughs> Yeah, take them, oh, don't so they take them out of the water? No, no, it's it's in pieces. I, you know, I pulled it out of the water, yeah. but you know, it, it's probably not going to survive another season without, you know, it's either major repair or replacement. Yeah, the dock. So the dock that you're going to be putting in at the end of the season, you're going to be pulling it out, correct? Correct. Okay. Right. Matt. All right. So the new dock. How are you going to? How are you keeping that in there? Um, I'm assuming. I mean, is, that a roll, is it a rollaway dock, a permanent dock? They make them at um, now with it. Would probably depend on the access to it once it's cleared, whether I can either do it rollaway or maybe the type where I'd have to just physically, you know, like pick okay. it up and move it out. Okay. So. The state wrote that up. They're flagging it to see what they like to report. So, Mr. Carlson, I would recommend that you withdraw the dock from consideration. Go for the trees right now because you don't even know what you're going to be doing for a dock yet in order for me to be able to help to write up a permit for the dock. We're going to have to do that as, as not as a separate permit, but we can amend your permit after. Okay, I mean, that, that's fine. That would be for quite a while anyway in the springtime. Right, so my recommendation would be to withdraw the dock right now. Um, we can bring it back in and amend it later. Um, and you can approve the tree cutting because it, there's no wetlands being impacted. That's all buffers up. Yep. And the trees he's cutting are very selective. Some of them are leaning weird. Some of them, they're just, they're in crummy shape. And they need to come out. The trees that he's leaving in there, he's got a ton of them. Okay. Um, it, it'll be the canopy and the shade value going over the lake. You know, I know I walked the site with Mr. Carlson a while ago, and he's planning. You know, I looked at what he's got for a drawing here, and he's planning out very strategically the trees that he needs to remove. Okay, that's fine. So I don't have any issue with those at all. I thought he planned it out very well, to be honest with you. Okay, so he's not doing any grading or anything like that there. So there is. All he's doing right now is, as far as worst concerns, where he's cutting trees and cleaning up, and that's it. And that's yeah, I it. I think he had some minor work he was doing on a path that's actually out of the buffer. Oh, okay. Okay. So you what, issued your standard auto condition? Is that your recommendation? Without the dock. Without yes. the dock. And I'll work with Mr. Carlson. I'll talk to the DEP first. Yep. And I'll work with Mr. Carlson after after I have a conversation with the DEP to find out exactly what kind of information they want. Because what they gave was basically, they recited general regulation. Yeah, Chapter 91, which doesn't apply there. He's saying he's smoothing out the path. Chapter 91, he's that's off the table. Disturbing the soil and in the floor, that's off the table. But as far as accounting for land underwater and any BBW, you put I've got to straighten that out with them. Okay. Because we'd rather take the time to straighten out. Because if we issue an order with this, yep. they could just turn around and say, okay, you're not accounting for the dog. Yep. So just we're going to intervene, they'll appeal it, and then it's just going to hold them up. He's, he's you know, it won't hold them even longer. Yep. But, but, do they have, the but does DEP have a right to appeal this? Because yeah. it's not a great pond. Even though it's not a great pond? Yeah. They can appeal any, anything we issue. No, no, I understand that. But I'm talking about the dock. Now, it, they're also, regardless of the Chapter 91, they're talking about alteration to land underwater because of the dock. Yeah. And over the last like, yeah, six months, they've gotten really strict on dock regulation. So they want everything accounted for. Yeah, okay. So I'll work with them okay. you know, on behalf of the town and Mr. Carlson and straighten that out so we can amend this okay. project later. Okay. It also saves you some money, Mr. Carlson, from having to do the whole process over again. That sounds good. <laughs> okay, so uh, are there any abutters here to... 
72 Flaxfield Road. <laughs> okay, seeing none, I will close the public hearing. I have a question. Oh, George has a question. On, on your uh, on your drawing here, it's it's showing a new path going to your new dock area. Yeah, that's where we're clearing the trees so that we can get down there. You're not going to be doing any digging in that area. Going to be um, smoothing. I don't know if you call it digging. Uh, we're trying to contract with a, a landscaper to basically smooth that out. Um, you know, put down maybe uh, stone dust or something of that nature. Matt, we want to make sure we include that in this so we don't get a phone call after stating uh, he's over there, he's got a bobcat on his yard doing work and he doesn't have permission to do that. I, I think we want to do this right now and give yeah, him the... I don't have a problem with that either. He's got, the, he's got a rudimentary path going down there to begin with. Yep. And it was actually kind of naturally formed by the way the tree's going. So all he's doing is he's stabilizing the surface with stone dust. And I can write up like a, I can write up the order of conditions um, and send it to two to review. Okay. So that we include this in with it. Okay. So we're going to issue him a standard order of conditions, and then you're going to write him what he can do with that. Correct. I'll write a special. I'll write a, a, a special conditions page that'll cover it. Okay. So we'll just include that in our in our motion here. Yes. Okay. I got a question. <clears throat> okay, Franny has a question. Uh, when he's talking about bringing sand to an existing dock area, is he planning on putting any sand in the water? No, I was told that's off the table, okay. so it's just okay. on the on yeah. the land. Okay. Right. No problem. Okay. No, he don't have any issues. Matt, you all set? Yes, I am, sir. Okay. Uh, seeing there's no abutters, I will close the public hearing for 72 Flaxfield Road at 6.18 p.m. Okay, motion? I make a motion that we issue a <laughs> standard order of conditions. A standard order of conditions with uh, the removal of the new dock not included in the order of conditions. Second. Okay, how about, uh, <clears throat> about the work for the path? One. Matt said he's going to write a special, you should make that as part of your motion, and Matt's going to write a set of conditions for him for the path, just so we have it on file, so if there okay. is a complaint, there who has something on file? Yep. So you want to rescind your motion, Judge? I'll rescind my motion. I'll issue a new motion for 72 Flaxfield Road <clears throat> to include... Uh, Smoothing out, the smoothing out the, a new path to the new uh, to the water. And, and Matt's going to write the conditions for that. And Matt is going to write the conditions for that. And does that this does not include a new dock at this time? Second. Okay. Motion was made and seconded to grant a standard order conditions to 72 Flaxfield Road for a. Standard order conditions with the caveat that Matt is going to write a, a condition, a page condition for him to follow, putting the path in that he's going to do from his house down to that dock area. And we are going to remove the dock from this uh, order of conditions. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Okay, Mr. Carlson, you're all set. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, next is uh, Pondview Terrace, a certificate of compliance. Uh, this auto conditions map was never acted on. Uh, yeah, I went out and reviewed, I went out and reviewed the site. There's, there's been no work. No. Nope. So we just issued the order of conditions and be done? Or? Yeah, because you can issue it. There's a, there's a box on the form that calls it an invalid order because the order was never, no, the work was never commenced and it expired. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I need a motion to, uh, for certificate of compliance for... I make a motion that we issue a certificate of compliance for lot A2, Pondview Terrace, for Rizard and Ursula Kokosinski. Second. 
Okay, a motion was made to second to issue a certificate, a certificate of compliance for a Pond View Terrace for lot A2. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. <clears throat> and um, meeting minutes. <coughs> I have no issues with the meeting minutes. I make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. Second. Okay, a motion is made and seconded to accept the meeting minutes of September 28, 2022 as written. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Do we have anything else? Matt, anything else? No, nope, not this time. Okay, bud. Thank you, sir. All right. And Thank we'll, you. we'll be in touch. You bet. Take care. Good night, guys. Good night. Thank you. Okay, uh, motion to adjourn. I make a motion that we adjourn. Right. Second. Motion to adjourn at 6 23 p.m. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous.